Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about Algorand and where our models think it's going next. So Algo has been performing quite well out of the lows in October. If we just measure, we're currently up about 140% to the upside, which is very nice and a huge relief, I'm sure, to any Algo holders for whom this bear market was unfortunately extremely brutal. But the bear market now looks like it might be behind us. And if that's the case, let's talk about the future. Where might Algo go from here? So let's go ahead and look at some of our models and see what they're saying. So the first model I wanna talk about is our trend confidence indicator. This is the indicator that the name suggests. It looks at trend. What is the trend of the asset? Is the current trend healthy or not? And one of the things you can look for with this is what is the TCI doing in its trend relative to price? One of the things you'll notice after we put in this double bottom on the TCI back here from March through to June was that the TCI was decidedly trending up here. You can see a series of higher lows here and then also leading into higher highs. And that led into this move up in price. And that's generally speaking a thing you wanna look for with the TCI. Is it trending with price or against it? Right now you're seeing the TCI trend with price. That's a good sign, suggesting that this move might have more juice in the tank. If you see the TCI start to trend back down while price trends up, that can be a warning sign suggesting that momentum is leaving the market and that a reversal might be coming. But so far looking at this, so far so good. We are in an uptrend on the TCI and price is moving with it. That does not raise any alarm bells for me. Now let's zoom out a little bit and think about the longer term prospects for Algo. So there are a couple models I wanna talk about relating to this. The first one is our momentum bias indicator. So this, as the name suggests, is a momentum indicator for Algo. So what the MBI captures is whether momentum is prevailing to the upside or whether or not it's prevailing to the downside. And you see pretty clear patterns of behavior on the MBI at different parts of the market cycle. So in a bull market, you'll tend to spend most of your time up in the green with just brief blips down into red. And in bear markets, you'll spend most of the time down in red with just brief attempts to reestablish positive momentum bias that get rejected back to the downside. Now, going from the highs in late 2021, we can see that Algo was pretty much in straight up bear market territory this entire time. It had a few attempts to reestablish positive momentum bias, but Algo had a pretty brutal bear market and really negative momentum bias was prevailing for most of this time. But notably, we've seen a massive change in the MBI profile for Algo since then, really starting in this rally coming out of October of this year. Algo has gotten to a massively high MBI score, really levels we only see in bull markets. We don't see this in bear markets. And so this is a very clear indication that the tide may have turned for Algo. It might not be up only from here, but it does seem like we've broken out of this bear market regime that we had been in, and we now might suddenly be in a point where instead of down being the dominant direction, up is the dominant direction, even if there's volatility on the side. So I'd like to keep watching this. What you'd really like to see is for us to stay up in the green, maybe dip our toes back down into the red for a bit, but then quickly reverse back to the upside and continue this bull market type behavior, not see more of this. And I think Algo is well positioned right now, given the strength that it's shown to start flipping the tables and actually start this macro uptrend again, instead of being trapped in a downtrend like it was for so long. So I think this is a positive sign from a longer term perspective. Seems like we might be entering into a new phase of the market cycle for Algo. So obviously not financial advice, you make of the data as you will, but that's what I'm seeing when I look at this. Now, the final thing we can look at that also gives us a sense of where Algo might be going medium to long term is our forecast model. So our forecast model basically gives the probability that price will be above where it is right now six months in the future. And so you'll see, for example, in the prior bull market, how the forecast model got extremely bullish through this whole time here when Algo went into a big uptrend. And then as we went into the all-time high for Algo, the forecast model is actually falling off a cliff and getting really bearish, really leading into this massive, painful bear market that we saw. But then as we went down through, the forecast model started recovering. And really, it started getting a little bit more uncertain here, kind of just being a little bit on the bullish side, but kind of uncertain, maybe a little early in how early it flipped. But by and large, it started flipping bullish. And then really, as we got down to the lows, got mega bullish. And then sure enough, off to the races we went with price reversing to the upside. 
So when I look like th at this, this looks very similar to what, for example, we saw last cycle, getting this kind of intermediate zone while things were kind of chopping around, and then off to the races we went. Seems like we went into that intermediate zone again through here, and now potentially off to the races we're going again. And you'd really like to see the forecast model stay in these higher levels. That even if there's volatility along the way, the forecast model is looking more medium long term, six months, a lot can happen in six months in crypto. So even if there are big moves up and moves down, generally speaking, the direction is up. And as long as the forecast remains bullish, that seems to be a reasonable base case that up is the dominant direction, even if there is significant volatility. So for example, when you see something like this, you might think that that would be really scary and certainly anyone in the market at the time would be, but that was just a blip on the radar until we went off to the bigger bull run. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. And obviously again, not financial advice, but this is one of the models that I like to keep an eye on to give an idea of what is the overall general direction? What's a reasonable base case? And for algo right now, the base case does still seem to be up. So overall then, I think the data are pointing in the direction that the worst very well might be in for ALGO. That as painful as this bear market was, we might now be turning the corner. And even if there is volatility along the way, it seems like the dominant direction might now be up instead of down like we were here. Now the normal caveats apply that we avoid a recession and the stock market falling off a cliff or anything like that. But early, all indications right now suggest that crypto is in the early stages of a new bull market. And I would fully expect ALGO to participate. And the data that we're seeing from our models is very much consistent with that idea. Now, one of the things we need to keep an eye on or keep in mind with ALGO going forward is that one of the things that's different a little bit with ALGO versus some other assets is its supply situation. So I've mentioned this before, Algorand saw a massive increase in its circulating supply from back here in 2020 through to now, it's a, almost a 16 times increase in the circulating supply. And what that just means is that it might be harder for price to get up to these same levels now as it was the first time around. Price is determined by supply and demand. If there's a lot more supply, we might need now a lot more demand to get us up to the same levels. But even if that's the case, even if it is the case that a lot more demand might need to come in, if we go into a bull market, a lot of speculation probably would come in. And even if we think that, for example, let's just imagine that ALGO just goes back to its prior all-time high. That's not a bearish scenario by any means. That would be a 1,200% move to the upside. And one thing to keep in mind is ALGO did set in a new all-time low relative to the past. So really what we're talking about that if, for example, ALGO, if we think that the prior all-time high is going to be harder to get to, even if it does manage to get there, it's actually a better return from the bottom to that point than it was in the last cycle. So unless you think that it performed really terribly in the last cycle, that's not really a very bearish forecast. So just something to keep in mind, it'll be harder this time for ALGO to get back to its prior all-time high because of the supply situation. But if it does, it'll actually have outperformed itself from last cycle. So that's just something important to keep in mind. But I do think it's useful to keep in mind this dynamic with ALGO, because I think a lot of people just get anchored to what happened in the past and they think, well, if it did this in the past, then it'll have to do that or better. It'll clear off to massively new all-time highs. May or may not do that. But even if it doesn't clear off to new all-time highs, it's still actually not a bearish outlook from where we currently trade with ALGO. So I think it's a really important thing to keep in mind. So to wrap us up then, I think an uptrend is a reasonable expectation in the longer term. Whether or not we have volatility in the shorter term isn't really all that relevant potentially, unless the broader data really turns around and changes. But that's what the data are suggesting to me right now, the overall outlook. All right, so if you want to view data from our models and more live, you can do so at our website, playerdigital.io, link is in the description. And of course, if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and follow us on X. A lot of updates, better models, and more over there.